Hello everyone and welcome to our new video where today we are going to check out top 8 instant camera in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion. Find out more information about these instant camera you can check out the links down in the description below. Ok let's get started with the video. In the era of digital photography, there is one breed of camera which harks back to a bygone era, producing real tangible prints that you can actually, we know, hold in your hand. We're not talking about analog cameras with 35mm film that you have to wait to be developed, oh no, we're far too impatient for that, we're looking at so-called instant cameras. The past few years has seen somewhat of a revival of these quirky little cameras, and in 2020, there's actually a heck of a lot of choice if you fancy picking up one of these kooky little gadgets. Number 1 Fujifilm Instax Square SQ6 the Instax Square SQ6 from Fujifilm is our favorite instant camera, it's stylish, with a perfect mix of modern and retro looks, simple to use, and produces large square images that just feel right. The camera comes with host of creative shooting modes, including automatic, selfie, macro and landscape modes, and even colored flash filters. If you want a bit more creative control, you can choose to manually adjust exposure yourself with lighten and darken modes, or even create a double exposure to superimpose two images into one. This simplicity adds to the fun of the device, just snap away and let the camera pump out reliably pleasing images. You'll be thankful for that reliability, because Square Instax film is almost double the price of the mini version, so you won't want to waste film, although the cost of film is a little on the high side, the cost of the camera is not, with $125, making it pretty affordable in our eyes. Number 2 Fujifilm Instax Mini LIPLAY We absolutely adore the Fujifilm Instax Mini Li Play, pronounced, Li Play. ITA an all-new generation of hybrid instant camera, taking the best from instant photography, and the best from digital photography, it's the smallest and most lightweight hybrid instant camera in the brand's history, and uses a 2.7-inch display to show you exactly how your print will turn out. This is great, because it allows you to perfectly frame a scene and check the lighting is on point before you print, saving film and money. The Li Play also includes a unique new sound function, which allows you to play a voice message or personalized audio through a unique QR code embedded in the Instant Instax Mini Print, and a direct print function, which lets you print images stored in a smartphone. We tried it and it works flawlessly, you can also choose between 30 frames to liven up your image, and there's a new, remote shooting, function, which allows you to take photos while standing away from your camera using your smartphone as a remote, the camera body boasts a streamlined, stylish design, and choice of three colorways, stone white, elegant black and blush gold. Each of the three color variants has an individual surface finish creating interesting texture details. Number 3 Leica SOFORT if your dream of owning a Leica stops short whenever you see the associated price tag, the SOFORT could be the one for you. Available for around £220, this is a bargain basement price to pay for the prestigious red dot. It's actually also a neat and fun little device, which uses the miniature Instax format, which are roughly credit card sized. There's no monitor to frame your shots, but you do get a basic viewfinder, and a display which tells you which mode you're in, how many shots you've got left and so on. You take a gamble when there's no screen as to how your shot is going to come out and sometimes the results will be a little mixed but isn't that part of the fun? Number 4 Lomo Instant Square Omo tends to raise funds to get its gear into production via Kickstarter, with a loyal army of fans getting a good range of cameras, lenses and accessories on the market. One of the latest is the Lomo Instant Square, which is a fully analog camera, sorry, no previews, that uses the Instax Square format, cleverly, there's also an additional back which means you can use the mini format too. The foldable bellows design is a little on the unusual side, but nobody buys a Lomo to be a wallflower. There's a range of different modes, but in essence, it's an automatic camera which produces charming results. Number 5. Fuji Instax Square SQ10. With its rounded edge, yet boxy, appearance, the SQ10 isn't exactly pocket-friendly, but by comparison to some of the others available on this list, it manages to appear quite sleek. It's a hybrid digital and analog camera, which essentially means it's a digital camera with an inbuilt printer, this is good for a couple of reasons. 
Firstly, you can make sure you actually do want to print your shot before you waste your film and your money, and it gives you a digital backup of your shot should you need it. While the prints are fun and quirky, the fact that the sensor inside is just 3.7 megapixels leads to digital shots which are reminiscent of early smartphones, i.e. not that great. If you like the look of Instax, but want higher quality digital shots, take a look at the Instax Square printer which uses the same film, but allows you to print from any camera you like via your phone. Number 6. Polaroid Originals 1 Step 2. This simple camera harks back to the classic Polaroids that many of us fondly remember. Except now it has some modern twists, such as a USB port for charging the battery. While the outlay for this camera is pretty cheap, Polaroid Originals film certainly isn't, and it almost feels like you're being charged for the privilege of unpredictability and instability. Some may say that's part of the charm, but be prepared to part with some serious cash as you learn about the quirks of a camera like this. Worth it though, for the quirky shots it's capable of producing, as well as the nostalgia holding one of these in your hands provides. Pick up the different colored film packs, including gold, silver and bright colors, to add even more fun. Number 7. Fuji Instax Mini 9. Available in an array of suitably trashy colors, the Instax Mini 9 is a fun way to liven up a party. It accepts the teeny tiny Instax Mini film, which arguably is a little gimmicky, but nevertheless fun for producing keepsakes from special events, we've often seen these cameras lying around on wedding tables, there's no monitor here, so the results are a little unpredictable, and you're definitely going to need the flash when shooting indoors, but it's certainly quirkier than using your phone to take snaps. One of the biggest selling points here is both the affordability of the camera and the associated film, pick one up on a whim, even if it doesn't get too many outings. Number 8. Polaroid Snap Touch. Trading on the Polaroid name, but having nothing to do with the Polaroid of old, the Snap has a couple of other things going. First and foremost is the sleek design. There's a number of nice touches, such as the magnetic lens cap, and the curved edges. Unlike the original Polaroid Snap, there's a touch-sensitive screen here, with which you can preview your images, choosing not to print out the duds at all. Unsurprisingly for a cheap camera, the screen quality is on the low side. Zinc is much cheaper than Instax and Polaroid, but on the flip side, the quality of prints is lesser, and don't hold nearly as much charm as those from the rivals listed here.